Many believe that alligators and crocodiles are the same. People also often mistake one for the other. This doesn't come as a surprise as these two reptiles look very similar. The reason for this is that they are part of the same order, the crocodilia. In a way, alligators and crocodiles are related. However, these two reptiles are still very different. They belong to different families with different species. Alligators come from the Alligatoridae family, while crocodiles belong to the Crocodilidae family. It might not be easy to tell these two apart at first glance, but there are still obvious differences that can help you distinguish which one is the alligator and which one is the crocodile. If you're interested in learning more about their similarities and differences, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. First, alligators and crocodiles have obvious differences in their physical appearance. From afar, alligators and crocodiles may look similar. They are large reptiles with long bodies, tails, and sharp teeth. However, they do not look exactly the same. If you look at the two of them closely, you'll be able to see distinct features. For instance, crocodiles have bigger and heavier bodies than alligators. The body of a crocodile is broad and long. They have short legs with clawed webbed toes. Male crocodiles can grow up to 19 feet long and can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms. On the other hand, female crocodiles can grow up to 11 feet long and weigh around 200 kilograms. Saltwater crocodiles are the biggest crocodiles. The Nile crocodiles and American crocodiles follow in second and third place respectively. On the other hand, alligators are much smaller and lighter than crocodiles. The average male alligator is around 11 feet long, while the average female usually grows up to 8 feet long. Since they are relatively shorter than crocodiles, they are also much lighter. Male alligators weigh up to 360 kilograms, while female alligators weigh up to 91 kilograms. Alligators and crocodiles have different snouts. An alligator snout is long and rounded, with upward-facing nostrils. On the other hand, a crocodile snout is long and pointy, like a V-shape. Alligator teeth differ from crocodile teeth. When alligators close their mouths, you cannot see their lower teeth. When crocodiles close their mouths, some of their large lower teeth can easily be seen. Side by side, alligator tails and crocodile tails look very different. One distinct feature to an alligator's tail is its stripes. Young alligators have yellow stripes on their tails. When they reach adulthood, these stripes take on a darker color. Moving on, alligators and crocodiles are similar in their behavior and habits. Alligators and crocodiles are both diurnal and nocturnal animals. This means that they are active in the morning and at night. Alligators and crocodiles both have impressive lifespans. Both of these reptiles can live for a very long time. Most alligators live up to 50 years, while most crocodiles can live up to 70 years. However, there have been cases of crocodiles living past 100 years old. In a Russian zoo, a male crocodile lived up to 110 to 115 years of age. On the other hand, the oldest living alligator is Muya, an American alligator at the Belgrade Zoo in Serbia. Muya is 83 years old. Alligators and crocodiles both love spending time in the water. These reptiles spend most of their time in water. Because their nostrils face upwards, they can easily submerge their bodies in water while keeping their nostrils above water. When they want to swim lower, they can hold their breath for up to an hour. On land, both reptiles are incredibly fast runners. Alligators can run up to an impressive 32 kilometers per hour. Crocodiles are also incredibly fast, despite being heavier. Nile crocodiles have been recorded to reach a speed of up to 35 kilometers per hour. These two animals also have overlapping habitats. However, alligators still prefer fresh water over salt water. Alligators live in swamps, lakes, rivers, and marshes. Because they do not have salt glands, they cannot tolerate salt water for long periods of time. Meanwhile, crocodiles will occasionally go out to the sea. 
Crocodiles usually live near rivers, lakes, and wetlands. However, crocodiles can also go out into salt water. Saltwater crocodiles have salt glands that allow them to tolerate salt water. These reptiles rarely coincide in the same place. In fact, there is only one place in the wild where you can find the two of them coexisting. Most alligators live in Florida and Louisiana. You can also find them in some parts of Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia. Meanwhile, most crocodiles inhabit Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and Eastern India. South Florida is the only place where these two reptiles coexist. Another similarity between these two reptiles is their diet. Alligators and crocodiles are both carnivores. Thus, alligators and crocodiles in the wild only eat meat like fish, frogs, birds, and turtles. For those kept in captivity, they often eat mice, rats, and fish. Alligators and crocodiles have a similar way of hunting. The way alligators and crocodiles capture their prey is similar. In the wild, these reptiles will often latch onto their prey with their sharp teeth. Then they will drag it into the water until their prey drowns. They can also crush their prey with their jaws and swallow it whole. These reptiles are excellent hunters, especially at night. Both reptiles have vertical pupils that open wide under low light. Thus, they can see extremely well at night. This helps them lock onto their prey even from afar. Since crocodiles have larger snouts, they also have stronger jaws. Crocodiles have a bite force of 3,700 psi. Meanwhile, alligators have an average of 2,980 psi. Crocodiles also prey on humans. There have been many reports of crocodiles preying on humans. The crocodile species most well known for this are the Nile crocodiles and the saltwater crocodiles. Most of the attacks by Nile crocodiles occur in Sub-Saharan Africa. On the other hand, cases concerning saltwater crocodiles often come from Southeast Asia and Australia. While alligators might attack humans too, they do not actively hunt them. There have also been cases of alligators attacking humans, especially small children and elderly people. However, alligators will rarely prey on humans when compared to crocodiles. Alligators and crocodiles also have similar mating habits. Their mating process follows the same steps. These reptiles start off by doing vocalizations, then they start head slapping and wrestling. This part of the mating process can often take hours. They also both mate underwater. Because crocodiles and alligators mate underwater, it is very rare for people to observe them. Usually, the actual mating itself only lasts for several minutes. However, a pair will often mate several times in one season to ensure that the female is fertilized. Male crocodiles and male alligators will often mate with as many females as possible. Scientists observed that most American alligators were monogamous. However, other male alligators and crocodiles still have a tendency to mate with other females. How they lay and hatch their eggs is also similar. Four to six weeks after mating, the female reptiles will lay her eggs. The alligator and crocodile mothers lay around 60 eggs. Unlike most animals, these reptiles do not stay to wait for their eggs to hatch. Instead, they leave their eggs inside their nest before leaving to return to the water. For both reptiles, the sex of their hatchlings will depend on the temperature inside the nest. It takes around three months for the eggs to hatch. During that time, the temperature inside the nest is key in determining the sex of the hatchlings. In a nest with a temperature between 32 to 33 degrees Celsius, the hatchling will be male. However, if the temperature is below 32 degrees Celsius, then the hatchling will be female. While alligators and crocodiles are similar in many ways, they are also very different. With these facts in mind, people can easily tell the two apart from now on. Hopefully, these facts can also help people appreciate these reptiles much more. One last similarity between alligators and crocodiles is that they are both very important to the ecosystem. They play an important role in keeping the balance of the animal kingdom. Let's continue to keep their habitats clean and safe so these reptiles can both live happily and freely. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.